Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Today I'm here to talk to you about vanilla torpedoes. As you can see, I have a stinger fighter with some extended wings and attached to it is a, well, torpedo, missile, whatever you want to call it. Now to make these you need just basically merge block, battery, torpedo, head, or warhead, a fuel supply, and a thruster, and a timer block to set everything in motion. Now I originally made this when the small, small grid tank first came into the game. So I'm going to show you how powerful this can actually be. So here you can see the targets I have laid out. They are 7 by 7 block large grid. On the left, the blue one, is light armor. And on the right, the red one is heavy armor. Now as you can see, after both have been hit by one of the torpedoes, the light armor one sustained more damage, approximately a 3 by 3 block hole, and the heavy armor one sustained a 2 by 2 block worth of damage. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm standing on. Basically, it is a torpedo module that can be attached to a larger grid. Inside is a torpedo printer that can print two torpedoes at a time and can also refuel them. Now here is the module loaded into a large grid and attached via a advanced rotor, which will allow the transfer of both fuel and items between both grids. Now I would highly recommend that you secure the module with some landing gear in case the rotor breaks or comes loose as well as securing it behind some hangar doors to prevent damage. Now in the interior, you will have to perform some manual labor to attach and refuel the individual torpedoes. And you must make sure that the tubes are detached before firing. Now I'm going to do a comparison between the torpedo that I have made and the 200 millimeter missiles that are normally in the game. I will be focusing on the cost to build them, the damage, speed, range, and the chance they can be intercepted. Now we are taking a look at cost. I will be putting a chart up on the screen to explain the amount of materials it takes to create one of each of these items. For the 200 millimeter missile, you will need access to space in order to get uranium and platinum. Other than that, it is a fairly cheap item to make. Now, my torpedo is going to cost you a bit more iron than normal, and more than three times the amount of magnesium. However, you can get the materials anywhere, and all you need is an assembler 
and a refinery. Now in terms of damage, the missile seems fairly small compared to that of the torpedo, given the target portion of this video. In terms of speed, the missile is much faster, and the torpedo, however, is technically considered a small ship and can only reach a maximum speed of 100 meters a second. In terms of range, the missile is fixed at 800 meters, where the torpedo can go far beyond that. Given a full tank of fuel, it will run for about 20 kilometers before running out of fuel. However, this range is very... It is varied on planets given elevation and angle. In terms of interception, the missile can be intercepted. However, the torpedo has a higher chance given it is considered a small ship. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what else you'd like to see on this channel.